When I, when I transitioned from being a, you know, a one hive, I contacted a, a hobbyist in Minnesota. He had 20 hives and he advised me how to remove, remove the bees from my parents' house wall. And, uh, and I bought his 20 beehives. And uh, then, I, then I grew and I, well, his name was Alfred Kurtzbein. And just respect, he's, he's passed on, of course, at this point. But he was, uh, he was a gentleman who uh, was my first mentor. And I bought 20 beehives from him uh, in, in Western Minnesota in 1990, 1991. Or in 2000, 2001, uh, moved to Huron, moved to South Dakota. Land of, land of the clover and the big honey crops, right? Uh, historically. All right, welcome. My name is Jason Albrecht. Our business is Albrecht's Angel Honey Farm, and this is a memorable truck. It has meaning. It was our 1956 Chevy. Started in 1991, hauled some nice honey crops in Minnesota with this, uh, with this vehicle. Uh, but yeah, we've been blessed, we've had opportunities to grow and uh, bought a retiring beekeeping family business, McLean's Honey at Huron. They were in Huron from the 1950s uh, onward and uh, uh, we've been able to expand. I, I started in 91 in an old school bus, removed the seats. That was our honey extracting facility. And uh, as you can see now in a few minutes, I'll be happy to show you a nice walkthrough tour of our uh, new facility put up in 2018. This is our warehouse storage of honey supers. These have already been extracted. There's approximately 15,000 uh, that are stored here. There'll be another 7,000 or so in the field over the next two weeks. We'll finish up our harvest. Our harvest began August 1st and we're finished by the end of September annually. Well, we've got some inventory at the other end. Drew, you see the red and yellow. Those are new assembled replacement boxes. While we're extracting, it's a great time to, to replace and interject new boxes as well. But yeah, of course, the labor savings, the time requirement, uh, structure for our extracting line, just a great durable frame. And also, when we use the one-piece frames with the lighter foundation, it works very well for contrast in Texas for grafting. And our, our inventory of honey is of course the fruit of our labor and uh, uh, we do have a larger inventory at this point uh, due to uh, our marketing <clears throat> marketing decision to hold last year's crop. Majority of last year's crop is, is warehoused here as well as uh, 2024 extracting. It's honey keeps yes. thousands of years when it's sealed up and, uh, and it's a, a top quality flavor favorite we have here in uh, eastern South Dakota. Very nice sweet clover alfalfa honey. Since 2018, we've had no breakdowns whatsoever other than uh, possibly a rubber feet, uh, power belt uh, if there would be a broken frame uh, that would bind an auger, but that's been very rare. We're very happy with the flow. When we utilize your extended track decapper, which is uh, your Exnox Man Lake brand extra uh, decapper system, uh, we can keep that functioning nonstop with honeycombs and it supports three of your 80 frame radial extractors uh, or the, the horizontal shaft extractors. Very happy with them. I'm Drew Anderson from Man Lake here today with Jason Albrecht from Albrecht's Angel Honey. Uh, he's welcomed us to here on South Dakota today to tour his facility and, and find out a little more about what he has going on here. Yeah, happy to have you here at our facility at Huron. Uh, we've been able to grow our business from uh, one beehive in 1991 up to uh, around seven to 8,000 annually we run now uh, with a dozen employees. So yeah, thankful for the, for the freedom and the opportunity. All right, Jason, why don't you tell me uh, what advice you'd have for someone who's, who's right now a, a sideliner, maybe running you know, 20 to you know, 200 hives and they're looking at maybe becoming, having beekeeping becoming a career for them. I would encourage anyone to utilize the resource uh, that they have available, um, even, even towns, uh, a lot of towns or subdivisions, you know, check out your ordinances, but uh, small scale, uh, I encourage growth uh, as, as we have. Uh, the best way to grow is to work, work for someone 
such as myself, you know, work for a commercial beekeeper or even some weekends, and that's your best, best education. Tell me a little more about some of those challenges that um, both you as a, a commercial beekeeper are facing in the industry as a whole. Uh, but yes, there are challenges, and one is bee health, the other is marketing. This past, uh, past year, Drew, the uh, U.S. market it has been flooded with uh, low-priced imports, even low quality and even fake honey. Um, uh, we definitely need to level that playing field. So, you know, what do we do? Uh, we've been uniting with one voice uh, uh, with our elected representative in South Dakota. Uh, his name is Dusty Johnson, and he's on the Ag Committee, and he's effective. He's pragmatic and across the aisle, a uh, great communicator. He's got a high pace, uh, good style of legislating, and a, uh, I believe a good representative for us advocating for industry. When someone's in the store shopping for honey, what should they be looking at on the honey bottle, on the label, to know that they're buying honey from, from a beekeeper like yourself to support the U.S. beekeepers? Ideally, know your beekeeper or contact. You know, there's contact information on labels. You know, hold, hold these companies accountable uh, and, give, and give good uh, uh, business and appreciation for those that, you know, that measure up. But yeah, reach out. Uh, I mean, we welcome visitors and agritourism uh, right, at, right at our facility. But ideally, it's the family beekeeper who raises the bees, who raises the queens, who's extracting the honey, and also bottling. Uh, that's, a rare, that's a rare product. Usually it's companies that buy bulk honeys and, and blend. But uh, yeah, yeah, read your labels and verify that it's raw, number one. And we are working on additional legislation to uh, firm up some of the accountability with uh, honey label laws. Uh, that was discussed uh, uh, two weeks ago uh, with a meeting of beekeepers and our, our U.S. representative here as well. Uh, could you elaborate a little more on the difference between, you know, a honey, a honey blend, looking at the back of the label, where, you know, reading what countries are they sourced from? Well, like I say, we, we don't produce enough domestic honey, so we do need imported honey, but we need it to be genuine, high quality, honest honey at, an, at a fair, uh, fair importation price. Uh, again, reach out and confirm. Confirm, contact the companies. Ideally, uh, ideally give America first priority. Buy any uh, genuine American produced honey first. Now we do sh mail order, uh, but in the stores, Verify, uh, verify source and buy U.S. if at all possible. Well, Jason, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to uh, spend some time showing us around your facility, telling us a little more about what you have going on here uh, in, in here on South Dakota with uh, Albrecht's Angel Honey. And you're sure welcome, Drew. And uh, yeah, welcome back anytime and, uh, with the additional staff. And uh, we've got bed and breakfast lodging available, RV hookups, and uh, hope to pursue a little more agritourism as well as all the school tours and uh, I enjoy giving back in that way. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we, we are uh, producing honey as well as honey-based wines and uh, you can find us on Facebook as well, uh, Angel Honey, Albrecht's Angel Honey. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys and any additional customers that would like to come our way. And, uh, I think most most beekeepers who've been in the industry very long, they've got a, a resilience where we don't give up. Uh, we deal with a lot of circumstances, you know, loading semis, working at night, working in different weather conditions, uh, and uh, we, we don't give up. And we're, we're not going to regarding uh, any of the f issues currently facing. So yeah, we're optimistic. Uh, you know, to be good at anything in agriculture, especially with livestock, you have to care genuinely. Thanks for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it or would like more notifications on, on future videos Manlake will be posting, hit the like and subscribe button and we'll get you notified. Thank you for watching. We're happy to be able to provide videos from finding your queen to checking for mites. Follow our YouTube channel for new content.